After a very very long wait, we have finally been able to get our hands on what is the future of the tuning scene in basically the entire world. This over here is the BMW G82 M4 powered by the 3 liter twin turbocharged S58 engine. This particular car has been touched upon by the madmen at Harmonix Tuning and well, I'm here to tell you all about this insane car today. This is what the hype is about. This is BMW's S58 engine, 3 litres, twin turbos, straight six and it is a powerhouse of a motor. So of course this car is not stock, it's a, a harmonic client's car so of course if it's stock it's basically sacrilege but uh, let me just go over the stock specs. So 3 litres, straight six, twin turbo S58, stock it makes roughly anywhere from 503 to 510 horsepower and 650. 15 newton meters of torque it comes with bmw's mx drive system so you can switch off the front axle and make it completely rear wheel drive if you want it and it has an eight speed torque converter gearbox from zf now this car is running a couple of mods nothing too crazy it's running mst intakes it's running a catback uh, akrapovich exhaust system and it's running a bm3 stage 2 tune and in its current setup it's making 587 horsepower and mind you this is not even running a downpipe so that can just give you a gist of how insane this engine is so it turns out that this car is actually running downpipes from akrapovich two decat downpipes to be exact but with ots maps and a lack of proper cooling the power output is limited so i cannot imagine what this thing would be like with a proper custom tune and proper cooling upgrades no. Now let's get on to the thing which is most controversial for the G80 and G82 uh, cars. It is how they look. Now personally, I've uh, started to like these cars a lot. I think so in darker shades, they look very mean, very aggressive. And in fact, I think so the main thing that people don't like is of course the grill. And there are a lot of solutions to that as well. You have bunch of different grill options. You can get the CSL grill, a lot of aftermarket parts also for the grill. You can change the bumper. You have aggro bumpers and stuff. I think even Novitec makes a, makes a kit for these cars. And I think so if you get it in a darker shade, it looks very mean and aggressive. And I'm personally a fan of the G80 more than the G82, but I'm not complaining. This thing looks absolutely stunning right now in this light and where we are and everything. So uh, I'm not complaining. A couple of things that you should definitely check out, which are some details which you might have missed. Uh, you get these two aggressive power dome kind of thing. Not even domes, they're just very aggressive lines over here on the bonnet, which gives it that mean and aggressive look. The roof is completely made out of carbon fiber, just how M cars should be. At the rear, you have a little boot lip spoiler, which gives it that little aggression. Of course, you have quad tips as well and a diffuser. And overall, yeah, I think so the G82 M4 has started to look really nice. It's taken some time for everyone to start liking these things, but I think so it's a really good looking car now. Hop into the M4 and it's not completely alien if you're used to the newer BMW interiors. I mean, it is based on the G chassis, so a lot of the interior trim is shared with 3 series and other 4 series, couple of 5 series. But uh, since it's the M4, you have a couple of special bits that the other cars don't get. Now, for example, you have this lovely steering wheel up front. Looks fairly similar to the one on the M340i, but you have completely different paddles and they have this like red rubber at the back of them, which give you a little bit more grip and it looks super aggressive. Of course, you have the M1 and M2 buttons, which are completely customizable as to what you want to do. Uh, I'm pretty sure M2 right now is configured to rear wheel drive mode. But of course, I'm not going to be going into rear wheel drive mode today. Other thing on the steering wheel is the carbon fiber finish, which looks really nice. And you have the M colors stitched over here as well. Uh, the center console is completely covered in carbon fiber. You have Harman and Kardon speakers and it's a pretty plush place to be in. You of course have uh, different seats as well. You have the M4 logo over here uh, on the headrest which glows uh, when you're driving at night. And yeah, it's a pretty normal interior in that sense. You have iDrive 8 
uh, this is one of the updated cars so it comes with i drive 8 and pretty easy interior to use if you're uh, okay with the newer style of bmws so let's close the doors and let's see if we can take it out for a little spin so finally in the seat of a g82 m4 and i'm just gonna start it up <laughs> yeah not the craziest sounding car but i'm just excited to see how this thing feels mx drive eight speed torque converter and yeah this thing is gonna be a monster finally i'm behind the wheel of an s58 powered car and it's probably in the most capable chassis of them all and i'm probably on one of the best roads possible for a car like this and it's not my car so i'm not going to be doing some crazy slidey stuff or going absolutely ham on it but i'm just excited to be driving this thing on this road God, <laughs> even Shrest is laughing, and he usually doesn't laugh. Oh my God! And the chassis, the way this thing turns in is just. This thing is a monster. Let. Oh my God. and the grip it is wild the brakes <laughs> okay i'm going to chill out a little bit because the locals over here don't really like this kind of stuff and this car is obnoxiously loud with the akrapovich catback exhaust system Oh my god <laughs> We'll chill out a little and let's talk about the car. So, S58 3 liter uh straight 6 with twin turbos and this thing is a monster. 587 horsepower and it's able to produce this power without even a downpipe and the best part is with the stock turbos and everything the lag is basically next to nothing anywhere close to the throttle and you're just shooting off into the distance it is absolutely nuts the way this thing just picks up and goes and the 8 speed torque converter gearbox is super responsive which is very surprising for a torque converter i mean the shifts are pretty fast this is not even full throttle and the way this thing handles <laughs> here is a quick breakdown of the g82 m4 on different remaps and stages of tune Harmonix discovered that the S58 actually produced less peak horsepower on a 98 run stage 1 remap more or less 35 hp due to the high elevation of Bangalore and these are the dyno charts of the S58 in different levels of tune the orange line indicates stock black line indicates stage 1 95 run and red line indicates stage 2 98 run Moreover, Harmonix is running OTS maps or off-the-shelf maps, which means that there is loads of more room to squeeze more power. On immediate basis, Harmonix has CSF cooling upgrades on order for this car. That and a downpipe, and this car can easily break the 600 hp barrier. 
Currently, the car is running 10.92 second quarter miles, but with some more fine tuning and custom remaps, Harmonix is aiming for a sub 10 second run on stock turbos. All hail the S58. I can't wait to see what Harmonix is able to do with a downpipe and hopefully turbos. Uh, I was speaking to Rahul from Harmonix in the morning and he told me that they're probably not going to put turbos but I'm pretty sure they will at some point because the owner of this car, Darshan, he's a madman. He has a stage 3 M340i and I'm pretty sure you've seen that video already. And this is his next project and I can't wait to see what these boys can do because the S58 is probably one of the best engines to come out in this decade. I mean, this thing is the future for all tuner boys. With just a downpipe, a tune and some air filters, you can get into ridiculous quarter mile times. This car is going to be insanely fast because it has MX drive, which means that off the line, it shoots off like an Audi RS car, but when you want it to handle or do some slidey stuff, just put it into M2 mode, you're in rear wheel drive and it'll do all of the M3, M4 stuff that you want it to do. And the goal for Harmonix is that with stock turbos, they want to get this car into the 9 second realm, which is insanity for a car with only 3 litres of displacement and well, with some basic mods, can basically keep up with your favourite supercars and hypercars on a drag strip which is absolutely insanity. So, a big thank you to Harmonix for letting us film this amazing car. I can't wait to see what they do with this thing. And of course, a big shout out to the owner also for trusting us with his beast. And yeah, all the best to these guys because they're doing some amazing work and I can't wait to see then put a lot of supercars to shame and probably put down one of the best timings in India for a quarter mile. So subscribe to us and subscribe to Harmonix as well. They have a YouTube channel and an Instagram. They always keep on posting some really interesting stuff. So uh, do check their channel and Instagram out as well. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.